So now that we've got the Excel list imported and we've got it right here, if you remember, we had um, 600 uh, airports loaded. It's now time to actually access this list from um, a survey to go uh, script. So we've got a survey right here and we've called it uh, airports from Excel demo. And the first thing we're going to do is access the list in the most simplistic way possible. And to do that, we're going to add a question. And the question text will be simply to choose an airport. And the answer, um, instead of single choice, we're going to choose this question to be an external list. And in the answers, we're going to say that this um, question references a um, additional subject store. And the subject store name, or the store is, we're going to choose our airport's Excel list. Last thing we're going to do, we're going to set it to be a single choice. And essentially, we're done. We're just going to make sure the um, render mode is set to autocomplete list so that the person can actually type as the list filters. And that's all we need to access the Excel list through a simple question of what to choose an airport. So let's see how it looks like by clicking the Run in Emulator button. And so what we see here is please choose an airport and we see our airport list showing up. And so if we uh, start typing uh, Newark, uh, we can see Newark Liberty International Airport. So we can choose that, the survey is complete, and um, we've got ourselves a question that accesses this Excel. Now we're going to make this slightly more um, enhanced by adding another empty question just to show you what the actual choices were. So we're going to add a, uh, an empty question. In the text we're going to say uh, you chose this and the code is that. So we're going to show here we're going to pipe the actual airport name and the actual code would be uh, piped here. So um, let's hover, let's head over to the scripts area and add the relevant piping code to set the text format of the current answer to the selected answer text of Q1 and also the actual answer, which is the code of Q1. So let's head over to the emulator and see how uh, this looks like. So we're going to choose Newark again. And this time we are seeing that we chose Newark Liberty International Airport and we can see the actual code being EWR. So that's great, but in our next video we're going to see how we can actually access that same Excel list, but instead from a question we're going to access this directly from script code and we're going to query the Excel for a single row and interact with that row. So stay tuned.